Hey guys, it's Ethan at Zimmer Labs. I'm uh, doing a review today of the Graflex uh, that I just finished building for Gordon. This is a modular build. It is a Corbanth Graflex 2.5 with a Roman's glass eye. It's red button activation. Uh, slide switch auxiliary except it's not a slide it is a push button with steel ball bearing and let's run through it a bit Gordon wanted with this not so much to focus on the crystal chamber or the insides but a lot of blade colors so we have I want to say 19 blade presets on this and then a second blade which is the photonic green blade so 38 different colors at the end of the day this is a blue flickering blade a green no a cyan with a mild pulse this is a green non flickering Cyan with a mild pulse. Blue standard. Blue with a light pulse. Cyan with a heavy flicker, like a damaged effect. This is a gold. I think this is, yeah, this is the gold blade with the damaged effect heavy pulse. This is an amethyst blade. This is a red blade with a real light pulse. A standard red blade with a white flash. And one of my new favorites, this is the uh, blue cycle blade or the Tron blade with a transformer sound font that really matches up. So the activation sound lasts five seconds, which coincides perfectly with how long it takes for the blade to ramp up. And the ramp down sound is almost as long and almost coincides perfectly as well. Let's do that with the lights out so you guys can get a better idea. of just how cool this thing is. Love that. Now the next one up is a green with similar cycle Tron blade but a slightly different sound font but almost matches up as well. That is, uh, the font is called One, I think it's by DSX. Next up, Fireblade. And a cyan fire, I think. Green fire? No, blue fire blade. And then a return of the Jedi green fire blade. And back to the beginning, cyan with a real light flicker. Oops. 
looks like we need to get a lockup sound in there. quickly run through what's going on inside for you guys you gotta first take this flathead screw that holds the clamp or that locks the clamp in just a couple quick twists not a big deal undo the clamp it's a core band so you don't have to worry about unlocking this this guy simply slides out oh I gotta unscrew it a little bit first On connect the blade which has a set screw actually well we'll deal with that no I'll do that now the uh, glass eye excellent shine through uh, we need a different hex key for this guy Now inside, we have got a full modular chassis. So kill keys here, this little fellow, and it's got an OLED display which is a great feature on the TNC Sabre. Um, to be at the very beginning, you get a splash screen that says Teensy Saber, or in this case, I changed it to say Gordon Saber. Uh, then you get a battery meter. It tells you where your battery is. After that, it pretty much just chills at the battery meter. But when you toggle the blades, it tells you what your blade is that you're on, so you don't have to guess. I'm sorry that that isn't a little clearer. Um, I guess the autofocus is not terribly good on my camera but it's, it's definitely handy. We did a magnetic blade connector system with built-in blade plug. And that's the other end. She just sets in there. And then, as I said, modular. So this is it. It's just the whole brains, the whole kit and caboodle of the uh, electronics in there. Three-prong connector that connects up like so. Just going to make sure you slide the pins in, line them up, lock that set screw down to keep it in. We can bridge these jumpers here to uh, turn it on. You guys can see the blade connector, built-in LEDs in there. USB access, SD card access, recharge port here, premium base speaker, 18650 battery, and then once again we've got two blades for this guy. So it doesn't actually have to be in the hilt to work. Sorry, my hand is not terribly steady right now. And then you can literally just pull it off.
and the magnet's actually strong enough to hold it on. Just barely though. Don't try this at home. Now to reassemble, just reverse the process. Slide this puppy in there. Make sure the pins line up. Don't twist them and bend them. You could always just bend them back, but if you do it too many times, they're going to break and then you're going to have to replace the pins. Um, it's not real likely because as long as you're careful, as long as you're cautious, you're never going to bend them. You don't have to apply any force to push it in, so you don't have to worry about doing it and, you know, mess aligning them and bending them. It slides right in there. Nice and smooth like butter. Um, slap the clamp back on. Put the kill key back in. Bottom section. Lock it down. Put that one screw back in there. Your Bob's your uncle. You're good to go. All right, guys. Gordon, let me know what you think. Um, this guy is all ready to go out. It is going to also include a red button for the bottom in case you don't want the glass eye. And the glass eye included is not this one. It is um, similar, but I, I I rounded off the knurl so that it's got the brass ring on the outside in a Force Awakens style. Although if you'd rather have this style, you, that's fine too. It doesn't matter to me. Um, all right, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned. I've got two more videos coming of a Genesis Custom Saber uh, that I converted over to NeoPixels for Ronnie, and this super sweet Vader with massive battle damage uh, video to follow.